everybody, welcome back. All right, so I know this video is late. Um, this is our prepping tip. And I know that, you know, normally they drop Saturday mornings. However, I had to work a lot. And I'm two jobs, you know, getting caught up. But um, what I want to talk about today is a simple item that you should be stocking up on. Um, and that's vinegar, white vinegar. Now, white vinegar has a, a lot of uses, but I'm going to tell you my top 10 uses for vinegar. Um, but before we start with that, just a quick warning. Uh, when you are using vinegar, you do want to avoid mixing it with bleach, ammonia, hydrogen peroxide. Uh, it, it can be toxic. As well as in a in closed container, you want to avoid mixing with baking soda because if you all remember in high school when we build like the volcanoes, make the lava, yeah, vinegar and baking soda. So it, it is a little bit explosive. So if you have it in a in closed container, it can be bad. Okay, so anyway, so um, for our, our number 10 reason that I recommend having a lot of vinegar on hand is that it can be used as a deodorizer. So now if you have pets or um, for your laundry, um, vinegar is a great way to deodorize those. It, it attacks those hard to kill odors and gets rid of them. And it'll also whiten your clothes while doing it. So, so that's definitely one reason to keep it because it is a deodorizer and it's good in the laundry. Um, Another good reason is going back to that whole thing is it is an all-purpose cleaner. You can mix it with like like three-fourth cup water, so like you know one to three ratio, and you can spray it on your counters. You can sanitize your counters. You can use it to mop the floors. It's going to kill the odors and it's going to clean and sanitize everything because it does have a high pH. So it is. So for number nine, it is an all-purpose cleaner. All right. So now number eight is something. Uh, if you remember that I did just talk a couple days ago about dandelions, well, if you use vinegar and oil and a little bit of seasoning, you can make a really good salad dressing. So you can use vinegar to enhance your foods. So you can make those salad dressings. You can, you know, you can, even if you just use vinegar, you know, you can make your food taste a lot better. So it's good on salad dressings. So, but even more importantly than that, we get to number seven. And that is, if you do, say that you do have your, your lettuce, your dandelions, um, cabbage even, but you have your greens, right? And they've been sitting around in the refrigerator, and they're not too happy, they're a little bit wilted. Well, you can soak them in vinegar, and it's actually going to crisp them up, it'll revive them, so that they'll be more edible. And you're kind of like seasoning them at the same time you're doing it, so... But yeah, it can be used to revise, revive wilted greens. All right, now, um, moving on. Uh, let's say that you do live in a wet area, and you, you know somewhere where you're prone to get mold and mildew. Well, you can mix a mix. You know, again, you mix up with a little bit of water, of course, but you can like spray mold and mildew, and it will get rid of that mold and mildew. And Mold is a very serious thing that you do need to worry about, so it can be used to kill mold and mildew. All right, so there we are, and that's number six. All right, so now moving into our top five. All right, so um, one of the biggest threats to any of your food stores is going to be pests. Ants in particular, because if there's any sugar at all, ants are going to find it. But you can make a mixture of vinegar and water and you can uh, repel ants with it you can repel pests with it so it's very good to repel those pests all right so going along that same line let's say that you do have you know fruit stored up you know apples bananas peaches whatever well a good a good thing to do is you take a little container of vinegar put some plastic wrap on it poke some holes in it and you can actually make a fruit fly trap so if you do get fruit flies, they'll go into that. They'll go into that jar. They can't get out. So you can use vinegar as a trap for fruit flies. All right. So moving up to number three. 
All right, so number three. All right, and for me, this is kind of a big one here, but um, it's as an astringent, okay? So like say you get bitten by ants or a bee sting, a wasp sting. Uh, if you apply vinegar to it, it's going to take that sting out of it. So it's actually going to make you feel better. So vinegar can be used as a first aid item as well. All right, so now number two, and for me, this one is kind of big because especially with the way the economy is right now, it's like there's so many things that you have to repair yourself. And in order to repair your house, your car, you're going to need your tools. Well, most tools are made out of steel and they rust. So uh, you can apply vinegar, you can soak them in vinegar, and it's going to, it's going to dissolve the rust. So, and you know, I mean, you think about pliers, wrenches, screwdrivers, hammers, especially like the pliers and wrenches. I mean, if they have like moving parts, that rust is going to bind it up and it's going to make it difficult to use and eventually it'll ruin it. So you can, you can use the vinegar to dissolve the rust. All right. Now, the, and of course, you all know this, but the number one reason to have copious, and I mean copious amounts of vinegar on hand is for canning. It's for pickling, you know, it's, you know, making, you know, whether it's cucumbers or jalapenos or carrots, when you pickle an item, you actually, you can extend its life for so many months. Um, I, I've had, I have some quick pickled jalapeno rings that I made like a year and a half ago, and they're still great. They still taste good. They're a little bit sweet. I did have a little too much sugar in it, but... Um, but they're still very good, and you know, it's, I, I bought them when they were on sale, and so I actually, I really got my money's worth because they're still good. So the number one reason, of course, is pickling. So that's my top ten reasons to have copious amounts of vinegar on hand. Um, it has so many use, and there's so many more uses than this. Some of them, even if it's not in a, in a survival situation, you know, you can use it to clean your shower heads and. Uh, conditioner hair there it, it has so many uses so it's it's a very important item and I don't think a lot of people I mean oh, I'm sure that you know if you're an experienced prepper you know about it but I think a lot of like some of you are like new getting into prepping and survival you might not think about vinegar but it has so many uses just one item you know first aid pests you know preserving your food you know uh, Keeping your tools, you know, healthy. So, so many reasons. Um, yeah, so, store up on vinegar, all right? Uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Um, I really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up. It really does help me out. And it's just a quick little press for you, but it does so much for my channel. It pushes my videos out to other people. Um, and if you have another item that I haven't listed here in my top 10, that you think is even more important than any of those, although I don't think I think everyone will agree that the number one reason is the number one reason. But go ahead and leave that in the comments because that'll help me too. Um, and then, but that's it. That's vinegar. Make sure you have lots of vinegar because it's going to be a very useful item for the long term.